Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today we're going to do something fun in Photoshop that hopefully will broaden your Photoshop skills. We're going to take an image of an ordinary coffee cup and put a raging ocean in it. And then for fun, we'll put a surfer in the coffee cup. All the files are free downloads. In the description below this video, you could find the links to download the files for free and you could work along with me at home. The past couple days I've done videos on new product being released by a couple companies that I'm an affiliate for. I thought today I'd get away from the affiliate marketing and we'll just do something that is fun. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, something that if you're learning Photoshop, if you take a class on learning how to use Photoshop, more then likely you're going to do something exactly like we're going to do today. And that is we're going to take a regular old coffee cup and we're going to put a raging ocean inside of the coffee cup. It's something that should broaden your Photoshop skills. Now in the description below this video, I'll have a link to Adobe's website. They actually have this exercise written out with a short video and you could download the two images used for this exercise for free. So you could download these images and work along at home. Now I'm going to do it a bit differently than they do here. I suggest you try it both ways because in Photoshop you could do the same thing a number of different ways. And many of us like to do things one way while others like to do things another way. So you learn both ways and discover which way works best for you. Now to broaden this out just a little bit, I'm also going to have a link to unsplash.com where you could download this image for free. And we're going to put this image in there as well and see what that looks like. So we're going to create this coffee cup composite. Now I'm going to go over to Photoshop and I have the three images open in Photoshop. I have one tab with the coffee cup, one with the raging ocean. This is the ocean that came from Adobe. And then this image of the person surfing and this came from unsplash.com. Now, first we're going to work on the coffee cup. What we need to do is get a selection of the inside of the coffee cup where the ocean is going to go. I'm going to zoom in a bit so I could just see better. I'm just going to hit command zero on my Mac to fit to screen. It's control zero on a PC. I'm going to use the quick selection tool to get that selection. The W key is the keyboard shortcut for the quick selection tool, but just make sure you're actually using the quick selection tool because that W keyboard shortcut is sh shared by three different selection tools, object, quick, and magic wand. Make sure you're using the quick selection tool. Then go inside of the coffee cup and just get a selection. You could see right away, it just clicked to the inside of the coffee cup, but it's not quite where I want it. It's going to the outer side of the rim. And we need it to the inside of the room because the ocean isn't going to go right to the edge. It's going to be inside the coffee cup. So we need to modify the selection. Now I want to uh, make it smaller. I'm going to take some of the selection away. So I'm going to hold in the option key on my Mac. It's Alt key and a PC. And hopefully you could see when I do that, a little minus will appear inside of the brush. And that means I'm taking away from the selection. And I'll go outside and I'm just going to roughly try to bring it in so that it's just on the inside of the cup. And you can see it's kind of snapping to where I need it to be. Don't worry if it's off a little bit or it's not exact. You could come in then and without holding in that option key, come in the inside and add to the selection. And this doesn't have to be exact, so don't you know worry about it. You could see how it's kind of a little zigzaggy in corners and edges. Don't worry about it because the ocean is going to be, you know, in there kind of flowing around and you don't need it to be fitting exactly in the middle. But that is pretty close. So that's good. Now what I'm going to do is go up to select and mask. And you can see there is our selection. By the way, in the view mode, I'm in the red overlay mode. And I have 
the opacity all the way at 100 so I could see what I'm doing. Now, what we need to do here is I want to smooth it. You can see how it's kind of really um, got have ja it has jagged edges. So I'm going to move smooth all the way up to 100 to smooth it out. And I'm going to feather it a little bit, maybe not even that much. Maybe, yeah, maybe that much. Like around there. All right, so I have this selection of the inside of the coffee cup. But what I really need is I need the uh, I need that the opposite of this. I need the outside of the image totally selected. So I'm going to click on invert. And you can see now when I do that, we have the red part in the middle of the coffee cup. Now we're going to go down to output two, and we're just going to output to, output it to a new layer. Just like that. All right, we're going to click OK. Now you can see it turned off the background layer, and we have this blank pixels in the middle. Now we're going to turn back on that, that uh, background layer. And we're going to click on that background layer. So it is selected. That is important. Make sure you're on the background layer. Both layers are turned on. Now we're going to go to the Ocean tab. And we're just going to move this over to that other tab. Uh, what, the way we're going to do it is we're going to get the Move tool. The V key, V for victory, is the keyboard shortcut for the Move tool. And we're just going to click on it, drag it up there to the other tab, bring it over the coffee cup, and let go. And you can see. It just fell right inside of the coffee cup. Now you can move it around. You could just, because we have the move tool active, you could just click and drag it around if you want to, like that. You could resize it. Uh, hit Command or Control T on your keyboard. You'll get the transform tools. Now we can't see it because it's outside of the boundaries of the uh, viewer in Photoshop. So hit Command or Control minus a couple times. And then you could see you could resize it here if you need to like that. I kind of liked it right the way it was. So we'll just click that checkbox and I'll hit command zero again to fit to screen. So you can see how we put this raging ocean inside of the teacup. Now I mentioned uh, just for fun, we're going to try a different image. So I'm going to turn that off. We'll leave it right in there. We'll just turn it off. Again, it's very important. Click on the background layer. We're going to go up to uh, this image. Now some computers some operating systems for some t some reason. Sometimes they have a problem just clicking and dragging. If that's the case, if you can't click on the image and drag it up to another tab and drop it on, what you could do is hit Command or Control A to select everything, Command or Control C to copy it to the clipboard, go over to the image you want to copy it to, and hit Command or Control V to paste it. Now we pasted it. You can see it's right here, but it obviously isn't where we want it. We want the surfer in the coffee cup. So we need to go to free transform again. So hit command or control T, then hit command minus a couple times to get to the handles. And then we're going to have to like bring it down and find our surfer like right there maybe. Now we could kind of fit this a little. We'll hit command plus a couple times so we could see what we're doing. Okay. Um, I think it's a little too large. I would like it a little smaller. Maybe even a little smaller. Let's see how. Something like that. Just a little bit like that, I guess. All right. And then we'll click the plus sign up here and we'll command zero again to fit it to screen. Control zero on the PC. And there. So we just kind of did something a little different. We have the image of the surfer lady in there. And that's it. That's just uh, like a exercise that, as I mentioned, that those that are learning Photoshop, they do something like this all the time because it, it kind of teaches you how to uh, get a selection, refine that selection, invert the selection, and drag and drop things from tab to tab and resize things. And it's pretty easy to do and a lot of fun. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.